awesome. <laughs> That's a skill that um, you know, sometimes you work on it after practice. Uh, you don't have to work on it too much. Um, it's just a couple extra reps here or there at the end of practice, uh, picking up pups with your feet. So um, it's just something that uh, I tried to do, and I was lucky enough that it balls my way. And on the blue line, you had to do a little daring do there too. Yeah, it's uh, it's the same thing. Um, you know, all that comes with confidence and being calm. You know, if you're freaking out out there. Just, Talk's not exactly where it is, and you're going to get yourself in trouble. With all respect, shouldn't you be freaking out given the situation that you're in? Yeah, maybe I should. I don't know. Um, you know if, but for me, if I do that, I'm going to get myself in trouble, like I said. Uh, and I was just trying to get out there, um, not, not fear anything. Don't be scared of mistakes. And, um, I was fortunate enough to help the team get ready. Tori, how much has the system in Providence helped you adapt up here, being sim somewhat similar? Yeah, it's been unbelievable. Um, you know, for my development, it's been very key. Uh, there were times where I, I struggled down there defending bigger bodies. Um, you know, now I'm up here in the Stanley Cup playoffs against uh, Boyle, who's a huge guy, and um, you know, it's really helped me learn how to defend and um, you know, offensively. I've uh, grown to make uh, plays at faster speeds as well. Does it force you to be sharper? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the stakes are a lot higher. Um, the desperation level is the same, so um, you know, it does force you to be sharper. What about the fact that it seems like out there you look comfortable not letting the 